Hello guys and welcome to this video to discuss about this case and that's a case showing us that sometimes the radiographs are not showing the extension of the caries entirely, okay? Or that's why we need to emphasize that the clinical examination is very important and should be done before the radiographs, all right? So let's see what's happening with, with this uh, lower first molar. So now we have here uh, the, the radiograph, so that's the caries that we are talking about, okay? So the lower first molar. And then the tooth ended up extracted for, uh, also because it's non-restorable. Take a look at this, how it was the caries, right? So it's non-restorable, but um, it passed, passed the CJ. But uh, there were also furcation exposure, a huge uh, vertical mesial bone defects and other criteria for extraction, okay? But then we have, let's understand what's going on here, right? So we have this, um, the, those caries here, you know, the image is a little bit tilted, this radiograph, but okay. So, uh, is this already very close to the pulp chamber or not? And sometimes it underestimates, okay, the true loss of tooth tissue, okay? And that's, that's basically the bottom line here, okay? When we try to remove the caries and or to, to see how the situation actually is, then take a look at this. So we have behind the distal cusp, of course, of the... Uh, lower first molar, then you have a lot of uh, caries, all right? But the distal cusp is still intact, the buccal surface here is still intact, and that's why you see something, that you see the distal cusp here at least and something, but um, then we have, we do have the caries here. And of course, that's not cervical burnout, okay? Although in this case, the caries didn't start at the contact points, you know, uh, then uh, I think even the radiograph is a little bit older as compared to this situation because uh, here caries were removed also before the extraction or, or something like this. So that's not the topic of today's video. But that's just sh to show to you guys the extension until the poop chamber. Okay, so take a look at this. The caries were already very close to the poop chamber. And, and not only to the poop chamber, but even close to the root canal entrance, right? So. Take a look at this. This is arrested caries, all right? So you have arrested caries here, okay? So that's arrested caries. And then you have, that's the dentin, for example, right? So that's the shade of dentin here. And then uh, you have this situation where the, the root canal entrance is here, right? So if someone went with an endodontic file, for example, we would find this root canal very, very easily. Okay, so that's why we need to understand that the radiographs should complement our clinical examination. Okay, and then of course, if you try to do something before the extraction, then you already know that the enamel and the, uh, without support will need to be removed, right? So that's why the distal here needs to be removed and was removed, of course, because you need to, to assess the situation, you need to remove these caries, right? If you want to try something before the extraction. But then, of course, it was detected that the caries extended further than the CEJ, and then uh, maybe due to the other reasons also, uh, this was extracted, all right? So just a nice case analysis for us to, uh, to uh, even differentiate from cervical burnouts and things like that, okay? So if you guys like, please hit the like button and see you guys on the next videos.